Hi guys, welcome back. So the time has finally come that I'm going to attempt to cut and dye my own bob and fringe. A little bit nervous about it, but it's got to be done. It's got to a point now where it's just... I don't know if you can see that. Yep, you can definitely see that. So I'm going to attempt to do it myself instead of going to the hairdressers. The reason being, I hadn't had a hair appointment in so long and I finally got booked in. My roots were already awful. The fringe was already overgrown. I couldn't even wear it down. It was really bad. And I got stuck in such bad traffic on the way there that I ended up running so late that my hairdresser couldn't fit me in anymore. I didn't get round to booking another appointment and I didn't want to call up now and then have to wait for another slot to open up. So I was like, you know what? Came up with the bright idea of attempting to cut and dye my hair myself and getting some content out of it. If it goes terribly wrong, it'll make for a good video. Although I am really hoping I manage to smash this. I'm gonna be using this box dye. I know everyone's like, no, box dye is really bad, don't do it. But is it really? Like, can someone please tell me if you know what is the difference? Why is everyone so against box dye? So yes, I'm using the Schwartz cut live intense color permanent deep black i am experienced in cutting my fringe it's the bob that i am nervous about look yeah um i'm looking really good if you ask me i just really can't be bothered i can't be bothered to do this actually that is not good it's like incredible the difference that hair makes right now i look like a skater boy that doesn't wash properly that is awful i think i'm a pretty girl okay but right now my face could pass as a boy anyway the results are gonna be so different actually something that i am worried about i've been wearing a headband for so long that my hair is just naturally just it will just go back now and also it's gotten used to this middle parting again and that's not what i want but I'm gonna do what I can, even though I have to start. I'm just going to use bobbles to separate my hair, but I'm gonna make sure I'm very precise and I do tiny, teeny tiny sections at a time because I feel like that's where I go wrong usually because I'll get all like the top of my hair and like the roots here. And I feel like at the back and the sides, there's just like big chunks of brown that just haven't been covered. And we're gonna go bit by bit. You can see that. Right, let's crack this baby open. I've done this enough times to not read the instructions, but I will read the instructions every time. It's like with microwave meals or just certain dishes. I will check the temperature and the steps that I need to do like every time. I think I have to leave it on for 30 minutes. Leave to develop for 20 to 30 minutes. I'm gonna leave it on for 30, maybe a little bit longer because I'm starving and I'm gonna make a salmon and rice bowl. We'll make a salmon and rice bowl together. This is the colour cream. Colour creamy. I don't know why I remember calling it that in a hair dyeing video that I did once, like years ago. It might have been like 2020 or something, which is four years ago. That is fucking weird. The first lockdown was four years ago. That's really weird. Those years of my life fucked me up. Like, we're not gonna go into that now. It's not the time or place. That was a rough fucking time, which I think had a lasting effect on me and my mental health and sense of self and multiple other things, but it's fine. <laughs> Just squeezing the color cream. Now I don't need an entire bottle of this because a whole bottle of this used to cover my entire head of hair. If you don't know, my hair used to be here, down to here, until I just chopped it all off in one go, which was a year ago, actually. That is crazy. But I'm probably still gonna use like pretty much the whole bottle of this just to make sure that my roots are covered. And here we go. Here we go. Right, this is gonna be my system. I'm gonna paint the top bit, make sure it's covered. Lift it up, paint underneath, then massage my hands through. Never realise how bad the brown is in my hair until I dye it again. And I'm like, fuck me, my standards were low. I really don't know what I'm doing. I don't fucking know. I don't know what I'm doing. God, why am I so stuck? Why am I like, really struggling to do this? I need to wipe the side of my head. <laughs> Stain the side of my head a little bit. But oh my god, that side is way worse. It's fucking bright blue. It's fine. Wow. Oh. Oh, what the fuck. Right, 
I'm going crazy now. This is where I get impatient. We're at the last stretch though. Oh my God, look at my head. You know what's crazy? I always think like I'm quite a fearful person and I get really easily stressed out and anxious and that I'm not ballsy. But I decided that I was gonna dye my beautiful light brown hair black all of a sudden, everyone around me was like, Chloe, black of all colours, black, no, don't do that, don't do that, you're gonna ruin your hair, don't do that. Because it's so different to what they were used to, they just thought I wouldn't suit it. I went with my gut, sat in the bath, and let my friend just box dye my hair black. When was that? Five years ago. And then, took a picture of myself where my hair looked like I had a bob. When I saw that photo of myself, I was like, I need to do that. But the crippling fear of when you've got hair, yeah, when you've got hair down to here like yeah you can get extensions but that's like if you regretted that that would be fucking mortifying so i just didn't do it soon after i took that picture i looked at myself in the mirror and i remember being like i know i'm gonna do it at some point and that's what i continue to say i know i'm gonna do it at some point but any time it was like are you actually gonna call the hairdressers and say you want to cut your hair like no i just couldn't i couldn't do it i could not do it fast forward i don't know like nine or ten months and my friend said to me honey you keep saying you're gonna cut your hair like book it now book it right now we'll do it this weekend i'm just such a i want to do this we'll fucking do it then and then my body's like uh what like like actually do the thing that i'm saying i want to do i literally like combust i'm like what you mean like actually execute the plan in my head I went in on myself there. Anyway, I just did it. I just booked the hair appointment. I was in a place where I was like, I had so much anxiety at that time in my life, this time a year ago. It was bad, bad, bad anxiety that I was in. And aside from that, the thought of just cutting my hair anyway just scared the shit out of me. So I was even more anxious about it. It wasn't an irrational, spontaneous decision. I'd taken many pictures bought a fucking wig, wore it around the house, looked in every mirror at every angle, put on a nice outfit with it to make sure like it looked good. Like I had sat on this idea for about 10 months. I was just like, Chloe, you're never not going to be scared to do this because it's a, it's a big change. You're always going to be scared. Basically, I just realized the only way I was going to do it was to do it in fear. Like literally do it whilst I was scared of it. And the guy that cut my hair was so nice and so encouraging and was giving me like pep talks. I was literally, I think I was having like a mini anxiety attack. Like I started crying. I'm crying in the chair. He went to do it at one point. He went to cut my hair and everyone was around me. Literally a crowd of people around me. I was shitting myself. They're all filming, they're like, oh my God, oh my God. And he went, are you ready? And this cold, chilling sensation literally rose up my body, like my whole body just filled up with this. I felt like I was gonna faint. And I just went, no, no, I can't do it, I can't do it. And they were all like, oh, okay. Like the most anticlimactic thing, like everyone was like, oh my God, it's happening. And I was like, no, no, I can't do it. So then I proceeded to cry in my chair. More time passed, I'm wasting these hairdressers time and eventually I ended up getting talking to the girl, this random girl sat next to me and she just gave me this pep talk and I'm literally like crying to this girl and I was like you were meant to be here for a reason, you were meant to give me this pep talk so shout out to that girl because she is a big part of the reason I went through with it that day. You are never not going to be scared of this but you know you want to do it, you know it's going to look fucking great you know that it's the change that you so desperately crave, you want, you need this change. You're always gonna be scared of it. And even some people in there were like, I don't think you're ready for it because you seem very, very stressed out about this right now. And I was like, no, I'm never gonna be ready for it. And I went, cut it. I didn't do it like that. I was just like, I'm gonna do it. He cut it. I fucking shit myself from that day on never regretted cutting my hair in my life. I love it. It was what I needed to do. I knew that deep down, like you know what you want. You know that you want it. You know that you want it. What well, if I turn into a manifestation channel? What's going on? Anyway, that's my two cents. More like 200 because I can't tell a story in less than 10 minutes. There we go. Cute. Oh my God, Chloe, you look so good. Oh my God, everyone spam the comments. Oh my God, Chloe, you look so good. Oh my God, Chloe. <gasps> I'm super excited for my salmon and rice. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> just some enchanted fairy village ambience. Because I'm super cool. I actually left this on for Jack whilst he had a nice sleep. So I wanted him to feel nice and relaxed. Jackie! Jackie! Hello! Hello! Okay. But yeah, sometimes if I'm doing my work, I'll put on a coffee shop ambience. There's Hogwarts ambience. There's Hobbit ambience. There's every ambience that you can imagine. Okay guys, welcome to Cooking with Chloe. Today we're making salmon rice balls. These are my three ingredients. Usually I'd make a nice fancy salmon and rice ball with a bit of sliced avocado and some seaweed squares on the side, but I'm not gonna do that today. I'm gonna have salmon, rice, and broccoli. I have my glass dish. I've just slipped on Jack's mat that we have on the floor so that he doesn't slip. Just close the oven door and went Boof. I didn't do that. It really, I literally went Boof. Anyway, I'm just gonna put a bit of spray oil in. A lot of spray oil. Now we're going to open up the salmon. Oh, that was garlic spray oil. Spray. Mm, that was garlic spray oil. Spray oil. That was garlic spray oil. It's very garlicky. Maybe because it's garlic spray oil. Hmm. Fish fingers. <laughs> I only bought myself one salmon fillet upon reflection. Don't know why I did that. I always have two. What is going on? What I do know is to cover your salmon dish with foil and then take the foil off for the last few minutes and when you get a nice crispy outer coating. I would love to be a good cook. I'd love to end up like having a cooking show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know about that. I would love to be able to cook really nice recipes. I feel like me in future is shockingly a really, really great cup, but not right now. 13 minutes and then I'll take the foil off. Till the sticky rice. That's ready to go in the microwave. Okay guys, now we'll wait. Timed, guys. Oh fuck, motherfucker! Here's my salmon bowl. My stepdad bought me a Jimmy's coffee the other day. I love Jimmy's coffee. My favourite canned coffee. I just love it. And that's what life's about, guys. Loving things. Oh. Mm. Try and scoop the salmon over. But I'm gonna try and eliminate the skin. I'm just gonna break up that salmon. Oyster sauce. Panda brand. Fuck it up. Mix that all up. Does it need both? I don't know, probably not. Look at this, a hair cutting and cooking video in one. That just made the sound of a meowing cat. I don't know if it picked up on there. This is my amazing salmon dish, guys. What's the verdict, you ask? I'll tell you. Here we go. <coughs> Genuinely very enjoyable. Okay, time to wash off the hair dye. I've been procrastinating because I know that I just do not have it in me to cut it right now. I've probably left this on for an hour and a half. I have a new lip balm as well. It's made my lips look lighter. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh God, I can't be bothered. I don't even know. I don't know what I'm doing. That looks like I've got kids lip gloss on it does doesn't it what is that ew i really don't like that actually we just have a moment of appreciation for the roots though oh my god that's a different person hair what a difference it makes now i'm called Maisie. oh for fuck's sake oh no right i might not be able to get the fringe perfect today but if i just at least take off the length to like the eyebrows and then i can start wearing it down without it being over my eyes and train it to come to the middle and then cut it properly in a few days time. Just tying it up with a scrunchie. Maybe you like nice curtain bangs. Oh, fuck me. First layer done. Now for the tough stuff. Hi, I'm Megan. What is that? That's literally a forehead vagina. I don't even know how to cut my own bob. I've not watched any videos. I've not researched it at all. Surely it's not that hard, right? I'm gonna place this towel down. I'm gonna sit backwards. <laughs> oh, sorry, 
sorry about that you can see that right here we go guys i reckon i will pleasantly surprise all of us well oh, for fuck's sake what is that wow that looks so nice and even. I'm so talented. I'm not feeling good about this, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I overestimated myself. Oh god, this is fucking harder than I thought. I feel like I'm gonna stab myself in the neck. Oh my god, I'm so disorientated because of the mirror. Oh my god, I literally can't. Oh my god, what's wrong with me? Oh my god, I can't do it. I fully can't do it. I just tried to go down and lifted my arm up. I seriously overestimated myself. I thought I was gonna smash it. Oh yeah, Chloe, just go into the side of your face. the energy i think i'm gonna have to call my hairdresser and hopefully she can fit me in asap if it's just a wet cut i've already done the dye oh i'm pissed off i'm pissed off Ow. i sense the feeling that i'm giving up there's a little part of me that's like come on chloe keep going but each trim is getting more and more excruciating I don't think I can do it. I couldn't even move my hand the right way because of the two mirrors. It threw me off. I'm so disheartened. I thought I was going to have perfect hair by the end of the day. Now I've got one layer of unevenly cut hair and a forehead vagina. <laughs> I've just immediately booked a hair appointment for two days time. So I'll see you at my hair appointment. <laughs> She's done, she's had it done, and I've learnt my lesson. I won't be trying to cut my own bob again anytime soon. I really thought I was gonna surprise myself and might like, just smash it. No. My fringe is still parted in the middle, but it's not too bad. Like, I think it'll go back to normal pretty soon. And I also went for a longer fringe. I've usually, I've had longish bob, short fringe, long bob, long fringe, short bob, short fringe, but never short bob long fringe so i've tried it out also it'll be giving off a different vibe right now because of the sweater you've got to understand that fashion gives a very different vibe like right now it's kind of like library lover and i love libraries but not really the vibe that i'm wanting to give off 